Okay. Um, what I do remember was when, you know, I was a kid, I was watching this sort of horror movie on Sci-Fi Channel, and, you know, uh, they kept the babies in cages, and then all, you know, when they showed the fucking baby's face, I got real fucking scared of it, and I changed the channel, and I was fucking scared for a day. And then, um, come to find out later, I was maybe like 16, 17, and then I found the movie, and of course, it was It's Alive. Okay, but yeah, this is Derek Yasha. And today I'm going to review the It's Alive trilogy. Okay, mainly this movie, but the one that I saw on Sci Fi Channel was It's Alive 2 It Lives Again. No, I know, but anyways, let's get into it. Okay, so the movie starts off with, of course, this uh, couple having a baby in the hospital, okay? Mainly, he's waiting in the waiting room, of course, and all you notice when the baby does come out, it chews off the vein, and of course, it kills a couple of people, but you, you do not see the baby. It escapes, okay? They they hide it basically, but it it escapes. Okay, so mainly what happens is now, you know, the the cops are trying to look for the baby, and of course trying to hunt it down, and mainly the baby goes on a killing spree. Okay, the first thing you know is that it kills a milkman, you know, which is awesome. That scene is awesome. The way that it was shot. You know, stuff like that. You know, and mainly, it kills off a woman and stuff like that. And then it goes to the school. And, of course, they're trying to hunt it down at the school. And, of course, the, the dad shoots it. He thinks he killed it, but he just wounded it. And, of course, it's just crawling through the school and trying to find it. It goes everywhere. So, you know, this is a sort of twist of the matter, and then it goes home to where they live. I, I don't know how the fuck it knows where, where they live. Okay, first of all. And, um, I think uh, the brother is scared of it. And, of course, the mom is trying to take care of it or some shit like that. She's trying to take care of it, but then it leaves. Because, um... He, they're trying to get it away from her, or I think he's trying to get it away from her. Yeah, so in the fashion of man of way, it escapes, and then they're, they're trying to hunt it down in the sores and stuff like that. You know? So eventually he does find it, but he has a sudden change of heart. He wants to take care of it like it's his son. But then when the cops find him, of course, that, you know, um, he just, you know, throws it and then it goes on one of the cops and then mainly they gun it down. And, you know, that, that was it for the movie. And, of course, at the end, you know, he's talking with them. He's talking with this couple about, you know, the effects of what could happen to their baby and stuff like that. And then we get to It's Alive to It Lives Again. Okay. Now, mainly, this one is a lot different, of course, that there's three babies in it, and, of course, that, you know, a bunch of scientists wants to keep them in cages, and, of course, that, you know, they want to do experiments on them, okay? So, yeah, um, pretty much it's just basically same thing like part one, but but except you, you got them in cages now, okay? You got them in cages, and, of course, you know, um, when the woman is going to have the baby, of course, they're prepared with the cage for it, you know, and they want to keep her at the facility, but she does not want to listen. Okay, so then what happens is, of course, that, you know, the same guy from part one is, you know, working with this team or, you know, he's trying to tell them something about the, you know, the two uh, babies, of course, and of course, you know, they don't want to listen, you know, yada, yada, whatever, okay, so then eventually he gets killed off, and, you know, that was just a 
punch in the face because, you know, I really did like that character. It was just a punch in the face. You know, and then, um, you know, this movie is just awesome, man. It has, um, you know, the chick going to the movies and, of course, watching a Bruce Lee movie. And then she gets interrupted by somebody and then they have to go back to the facility. Okay. So then, you know, finally they do have the kid, but it, it escapes. And, of course, that, you know, they're, they're living in this house or whatever. They're just staying there. And, you know... The baby comes there and eats steak, and then, of course, you know, the army guys uh, just hunt it down. They throw tear gas in there or some kind of gas. And, of course, that, you know, the baby is trying to kill the old man, and then it fails because, you know, uh, the guy shoots it down, okay? And mainly that's it. And then you have that, the new guy talking to different parents okay so then after that you know we get to the last movie it's alive three island of the alive okay so the movie opens up of course with this woman in this taxi cab having the kid and of course you know i think it kills the taxi cab driver and then goes into the church and it kills itself because it knows that it was unholy Okay, it kills itself with holy water. So yeah, then after that, we cut to, you know, this guy that has this kid, but of course that it's in the cage, and of course he's trying to take up for it in court. Okay, he's trying to take up for it in court. Okay, what happens is, you know, the judge... It was just saying, no, no, we gotta send it, we gotta, uh, you know, execute it, this and that. And of course, that it, it breaks the, the, the cage and, of course, gets out of the cage and then crawls up onto the judge's uh, desk. And of course, you know, it, it's just innocent, okay? It's just innocent. You know, so then what happens is they do send it to the, they do send the babies to the island, and of course it's their island, and of course that, you know, a couple of people go there to try to capture them, and then of course that they get killed off. The people get killed off by them, and then we get to see what these things look like when they're adults, okay? I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not, but it looks, you know, like, Something like that when it's an adult. So, you know, what I'm pointing at is right here. It looks something like that when it's an adult. But, yeah. Uh, mainly what happens is, you know, he sees his son, but, you know, the other, uh, you know, it's alive adults. Uh, don't don't want to, um, you know, be civilized. They, they want to go and uh, do chaos and stuff. You know, and mainly, uh, there's a subplot going on where they have some kind of disease and it dies and it has a kid or something and yada yada, whatever. And then the movie just ends with, of course, them taking care of their grandsons or their son's grandson, okay, their son's kid, which is their, their grandson, okay. No, I know, but anyways, you know, all three movies get five out of five, you know, I, I might have confused some of the movies, you know, It's Alive, It's Alive 2, and It's Alive 3. I know that I messed them up, but you know what, it's not a perfect review. You know, OCP Mike is a better reviewer than me, I'm not gonna lie, okay? But yeah, even uh, Michael Caine reviewed these movies, and he reviewed them better than me, but, um, you know what I could say to... All three movies get five out of five, you know, all the movies had good acting, you know, all the movies had great, not great, but good cinematography and, you know, good visuals and good special effects, and I forgot which one it was that Rick Baker did the effects for, but I think it was It's Alive too. Yeah, um... Very good special effects, practical effects, you know. I, I like all that kind of stuff, but, you know, um, 
for me, I just I just like everything about the movie. But um, here's what I'm gonna say about the the movies, okay? You know, you think that you know they would put something out of its misery because it wouldn't be happy at all. You know, they you think that they would put this inhuman, this you know not inhuman, but you know what I mean, this sort of thing out of its misery. You know, you think that that they they would take it out. You know, but um, no, they they don't. They don't. They take some of them out. You know, they take some of them out. But see, um. For me, it's just wrong to keep something alive that looks like this, you know, something alive that that looks exactly like that, because it's just sick. You know what I mean? It's, it's fucking sick, man. It's demented for me. Okay, I'm just saying, it's fucking sick. Okay, and first things first, if you do see something like that, just put it out of its fucking misery. You know, is that too much to ask for? You know, you're heartless, basically. You are heartless for keeping something like this alive, okay? Yeah, pretty much so. You know, that's like keeping a deformed animal alive. You know, animal that's part, you know, goat and part griffin or something like that. It's demented. It's sick. You know, it's very sick. No, I know, but, um, you know, anyways, they're just movies. They're not supposed to make sense. But anyways, this was my review for, you know, It's the Live Trilogy. So, yeah, I'm out. Peace.